In the summer of 2009, the Subi Foundation of Canada built teacher accommodations and a library for Leila Obaro Primary School in Gulu District, Northern Uganda. This is the story of Leila Obaro. For the last 20 years, the northern part of Uganda had been traumatized by war. As a result, tens of thousands of people were forced to live in overcrowded camps like this one in Gulu. Now that the war is over, the people from those camps have been able to move back to their homeland. We are here because of what the uh, Subi Foundation has done. Subi is a Luganda word. It means hope. So what Philip and his colleagues have brought here is hope to the people of Lelobar. In all this, all I was trying to say, we are grateful. And thank you very much for the spirit that guided you to come to Lelobar, to come to Omoro, to come to Gulu District, to help our people. We have seen a lot of bad things. It is such a breath of fresh air to see some good gestures. We have only been seeing bad things. We have only been seeing guns, pangas, spears, knives, fire on houses. But now we are beginning to see bricks, cement, iron sheets, books, and light. And that is the hope that is encumbered in your name as Subi, which means hope. Last July, the groundbreaking and construction began on the teachers' accommodations and Rick Terrio Memorial Library. Over the next 30 days, dozens of local Ugandans worked tirelessly on the project. They didn't have the type of equipment that we're used to using in Canada. Instead, they worked with local tools such as pickaxes, hoes, and sledgehammers. <laughs> Leila Obaro School has over 800 students and not enough classrooms, so many of them end up studying in makeshift grass hut structures like this one. For the younger students who are indoors, the conditions are overcrowded. <laughs> many of the other students having to learn in outdoor classrooms like this one. After 30 days of construction, on August 4th, 2009, the big day finally arrived for the grand opening of the teacher's accommodations and the fully furnished library. Our dear friends, as far as we are concerned, as the local government of Gulu, 
We see this as, in, as an important example for other organizations. And the one lesson I take with me is that it is not about money, it's about commitment. And I thank you for your commitment. The library is very impressive, and it is the only one of its kind in the whole of the district. We are very grateful for what we have done. This gift is unusual. The private organizations from Canada that are doing things here are making more of a difference than what the government is doing. So, Subi, thank you for standing in the gap. For us, our government... The name Subi means hope. And the word hope reminded me of a story. Somebody told me about seven years ago that a little boy went and lit four candles. One candle was called Peace. The second candle was called faith. The third candle was called love. And the fourth candle was called hope. So the candles were burn, burning gently and the boy could hear them almost talking. But the boy went outside and when he came up, he found that only three candles, only one candle was burning. The other three candles had gone off, gone off. The first candle, which was peace, said, I have no purpose continuing to light. There are problems in this place. I can't continue to survive. So peace went off. In the place of peace became war. War replaced peace. The second candle, which was love, said, but what am I doing here, Lighty? Everybody is against the other person. A father does not like his children. The children do not like their parents. And people just don't have love. Why should I continue lighting? So love went on. The replacement for love was hatred and other bad things. The third candle, which was faith, said the situation is not good. People like us cannot live. People lost faith in everything. People lost faith in their families, in their churches, in their mosques. They lost faith in their leaders. They lost faith in everything. So the candle of faith also went off. So three candles went dead. The little boy walked back in and he found only one candle burning and that was hope. And the boy started crying. He said, why are you all out? I put you here to light the world. I put you here to give me light. Why are you all off? He started crying. But the last candle whispered to the boy. He said, you know what, young man? I am hope. Since I am still burning, pick me and light the others. So the boy went and picked the candle of hope, lit faith, lit love, and lit peace. All the four candles again started burning in harmony. So hope which is Subi, has come with the last candle, which is hope. <laughs> so we live in a harmonious society because <coughs> Subi Foundation, Hope Foundation, has come to Lelobar. After the official opening of the Rick Terrio Memorial Library and the teachers' accommodations, it was time for celebration and festivities.
The workers even toasted the successful completion of the project, which was finished in record time of 30 days. Big, Big rock, 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 rock. Ah, ya que